Hello traders, FS Pip Coletti here. Today is Monday, July 24th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen, starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the pound yen monthly, I still believe this uptrend is an A. I think this is an A, B, C, or B. I think we're in a 1, 2, and we're in a wave 3, which I think is not over yet. I think it's going all the way up to at least 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected out the bottom of what I think is an A, B, C, of B right around the 203 area so let's head down to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame i think this is a one two and this move up right here is also the subdivisions of that big wave three of wave c and i think that this uptrend is not over and i think it's going to continue to make higher highs and higher lows to complete that wave three four and five of wave c so keeping all that in mind, let's head down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I still think it's going to end up going down again. I think this is an A, B, and it's going to go down for a C, probably something like that, before it actually does end up continuing the uptrend. And the continuation of the uptrend may not even be a wave 5. It could just be a subdivision of a much larger trend, and I think it's more likely it will just keep on going up, making higher highs and higher lows. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame, on the 4 hour time frame I think you can very clearly see the lower lows, lower highs back here for the wave A. I think this right here is also clearly an A, this is very corrective looking, a wave B. I think this is a wave C and I think it needs to pop up one more time at least, maybe go up to the 78 or retest the 61.8 to finish the wave C of B before it actually ends up going back down to make the wave C. Like I said it could be an ABC of 4 or it could just be a subdivision of a much larger, larger trend. Either way, I think it, once it completes this ABC correction, it's going to end up continuing the uptrend. So taking it right down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I think this first move down is an A. I think that it's making three waves up right here for a B. I think that this move down right here is probably going to be a wave C. So if I see something like this, if I see a break of structure to the upside, I would definitely take that as a long opportunity. I think it's going to go up either we test the 61.8 or maybe go up to that 78% fib that I was showing on the longer time frames, like the full hour, to finish off this wave C of wave B most likely. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.